I went to your house and your next door neighbour told me. I am truly sorry for your loss. There's nothing worse than losing a child. I lost my baby. My son, Rory. People always say they understand, they don't. They try, but they can't. How dare you show your face? Look, I came here because... because my son's terrified. The only way I can help him is to beg you to please leave him alone. I, I don't blame you for feeling the way that you do. I understand that anger, you know, that... I mean, I, I was so angry when Rory died. I, I turned that anger on myself. Where is he, Ryan? I came here to ask you to leave him alone. You say you understand. So tell me, who killed your baby? Ryan didn't kill Cormac. They were mates. He was trying to protect him. He, he got my other son. He's, he's a doctor, and he got him to, to help. Cormac was fitting, and, and Ryan was so worried about the drugs. It's the only reason he didn't phone an ambulance straight away. He didn't want to get Cormac into trouble. Ryan and Ali tried everything they could to save your son. No, I didn't save him. I did that. Because there was nothing they could do. So you come here to ask me to forgive them? <sighs> nothing you could do to my family will bring Cormac back. You know, I'm truly amazed. Your son could have called an ambulance. But he didn't. He let my son die. And you somehow think it's OK to wander in here on the day we lay him to rest and insult me with some pathetic speech about your baby dying. All I want is to protect my son. From me? Yeah, from you. He's scared. And so am I. Good. You should all be scared.